There, much better, right? I went to a quick MTV Cribs. You guys want to see the place? You guys want me to uh, give you a tour of this place? Yeah, it's tropical weather. It's usual over here. <clears throat> Rain's on and off. It's around 10 a.m. 11 a.m. All right, man. I will give you guys a quick tour. my buddy's birthday, the reason why I'm all the way here. I don't stop. <laughs> yeah, better. You could be immortalized in a, in a video. We're never going to be friends, dude. Just tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> the bitches are here. <laughs> Fantastic, huh, guys? This place is huge. You guys all hear me? Everything's clear? Is it coming through clear? Video is good. Everything's good. No complaints here, guys. Very good Wi-Fi. <laughs> no excuses, right? Except being drunk. So being drunk is the only excuse I got for not working. Plus, it's my friend's birthday, so. Dude, I miss working so much. That's why I made this video, so I can probably stay in tonight and um, work so that I can make an, a recap video for you guys. It's a nice little kitchen area. No one does any cooking here anyways. Yeah, where are the bitches? Where are the bitches? Bitch one, <laughs> bitch two, <laughs> bitch three. <laughs> I'm making an IG video, Instagram. And it's gonna go to all my guys. The reason, the reason, guys, I got into IG right now, it's like, I know it's like midnight or something over there. No one's on, I didn't advertise this IG. Uh, I just wanna talk to you guys about, I mean, so I saw this Instagram thing and people are always bashing education, bashing corporate jobs. Always trying to promote this entrepreneurial bullshit so that they can sell their own bullshit. But you know what, guys? All this you see here, this is not from fucking trading. You think I just woke up one day and started trading and fucking be able to do this? Nah, dude. It's fucking 30 years of grinding. Started out fucking first day of school. Fucking studying, getting bullied, learning about life. So those guys that say, oh, corporate job, I'll tell you how I got this shit. And I'll tell you how you can get this shit. It's not through trading, I tell you that. I sell, I mean, I, I run a club that helps people to trade. I'm, I'm telling you right now, you don't get this shit from trading. 
yeah, I mean, I made a shitload of money trading, trading, but you gotta do all the steps before you even get to the point where you're comfortable enough to trade, right? If your life is fucked up, trading is not your fucking antidote for a bad fucking life. It's, it's like buying a lottery ticket and hopefully you fucking be one in a million. Nah, dude, it's mental, 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 mental. Trading is all about discipline. I keep telling you guys that. If you don't have fucking discipline in your fucking life, how the fuck are you gonna be able to do it when the time comes and you gotta, and you have your money on the line, your rent money on the line? You cannot do it. All this started back in school when I got fucking homework. Instead of fucking going out and partying, I fucking did homework. So those are the steps along the way that these guys don't fucking tell you. I, ha I hate it. I hate it. Anytime that people bash on corporate job, I hate it. Anybody bashes on a corporate job, look look at where they are in their life. Are they fucking making money off of your dumb ass or are they independently wealthy already? Anybody that's independently wealthy is not going to bash, bash corporate life, easy life, the steps that get there. It's only the guys that are trying to sell you the fucking lifestyle bullshit. Some of these guys are fucking, I, I respect them, but at the same time, it's like, stop the fucking furu bullshit. Fuck you. You, you're getting people's lives fucked up by selling them the dream. Selling them this fucking shit. Hey, you, you guys know me for a long time, man. I fucking tell it like it fucking is. All I want to do is help you guys fucking see the truth. Even if it costs me memberships, I don't give a fuck. I didn't start this shit to fucking make money, man. I started this shit to fucking... Everything I do, I want to be the best. And it takes time, right? So how do you get this? It's not from fucking trading. It's from fucking having a good attitude, working hard, being humble, and knowing that I cannot compare my chapter one to other people's chapter 1,000. Oh, bow, he has all this shit. If I get into trading, I get, man, trading was chapter fucking 578. Chapter one was when I was fucking born, dude. And by the time I was born to where I am now, it's like fucking, could be a million chapters, right? Everyone has a different autobiography, dude. So don't compare. Do not compare your chapter one or chapter 10 to other people's chapter a million. And I'll tell you how you do it, dude. First of all, you grind hard. In order to do something, you have to have money, okay? How the fuck are you gonna get money? You think trading is free? You think living is free? You think paying rent is free? No, dude, you get a fucking job and you fucking save, okay? Use that job to your advantage. It's called a job for a fucking reason. It's, they didn't call it going to fun. You know, they don't say it's fun. It's called a fucking job, it's work. It's hard work, I'm going to work. No one wakes up in the morning, hardly anybody wakes up in the morning and say, I'm going to have fun. If you do that, that's awesome. You're done in your life. You are successful. The moment that you can wake up and say, this is fucking fun. Like where I am right now. It's not about the money, guys. I woke up today. I was like, hey, I'm going to fucking do this IG live because I miss you guys. And I miss doing this. I miss helping people. One week away is a fucking long time. I can relax, retire here. But I said, dude, this is going to be fun. So I've already reached my goal. And I don't need this fucking chat shit. I don't need anything. You know what I'm saying? When the moment when you wake up and you say, hey, this is fucking fun. I'm looking forward to waking up. And that's what I want you guys to achieve, okay? And it could be through anything. It doesn't have to be through trading. The only reason trading exists is so that you can have the bankroll to do what you really want to do in life, dude. So, so I'm going to tell you how you do it. Get a fucking job. Save your fucking money. It's not how much you make, guys. It's how much you save. Let me repeat that once again. It's not how much you make. It's how much you save. My parents came here, made minimum wage, saved a shitload, bought a house, lived the American dream, making minimum wage all the way. Minimum fucking wage. So don't tell me that you can't fucking do it. There, if there's a way, will, there's a way, right? If there's a will, you'll make it happen. Don't fall for the fucking trap of a guy trying to sell you a fucking dream and say, start your own company. No, motherfucker. Get a job, save a bankroll. Do it strategically. I'm giving you the recipe to being successful. Fuck trading. Training will come, okay? And I'll tell you how you do it. Get a job, save, bust your ass in that job. Be the best you can at that fucking job. Until that job no longer 
no longer benefits you, that you can find other opportunities. In life, it's all about finding your edge, right guys? In trading and in life, it's all about finding the edge. Another word for that is opportunity cost, okay? You work your job, it pays you money. At some point in your life, that job is costing you money, meaning there's better opportunities elsewhere. It's called opportunity cost, okay? It's like, being this job is costing me something that I could, so then that's when you know to quit. So you get a job, you save your money, at some point you get better at your job. Because everything you do, be the best at what you do, dude. If you're the bathroom attendant, you be the best. So I'll, I'll tell you how I, I do at clubs. And when I go out, I, I tip the guys at the clubs, like the girls hardly anything. I don't give them the shit because they're entitled already. I, go, I give to the guys, the, the, the support staff, the bathroom attendants, because who the fuck would clean up the shit but be proud of it? They could easily be robbing you, doing illegal things, scamming you. But you know what, man? Those are the fucking most honest motherfuckers of the world. They're taking literally shit from other people. Right, guys? Does that fucking make sense? And so I gave this guy advice. So I, my hometown, I've seen him for like two years being a bathroom attendant. And every time I see him, I fucking give him a hundred bucks. And I, I gave him motivation. because, uh, And you know what? And then one day, he goes, oh, I did it, pal. I fucking listened to you. I found a job. I saved my money. Now I'm doing what I want to do. A bathroom attendant. And then when I came back, he's no longer there. It was replaced by another guy. So you go get a fucking corporate job, dude. Save your money. That money will bankroll you to do what you want. Money, life, people... So trading is this, it's just a means to make money. But money is useless, except for one thing, affording you freedom, okay? Freedom to do what the fuck you wanna do. I happen to love trading, but if I lose every fucking day, I don't really love it. <laughs> I love it because I, I am knock on wood, you know? Okay at it, right? If I truly suck at it and losing money and I can't pay my rent, I'm not gonna love it. But it, and you know what? In order for me to trade correctly, I need to be comfortable and not worry about all this other bullshit. If I'm fighting with girlfriends, my family, uh, if my rent money is on the line, I can't trade effectively, right? I'm gonna, it's like poker, dude. You can't, you can't go in there risking everything every day and doing the correct moves. You're gonna be folding all the time and being bluffed out. So guys, there are many steps in this game, man. I'm here trying to be honest, man. The mentoring club is about mentoring life. Stocks is just one way of doing it because that happens to be my specialty. But I, I feel, man, before you even get there, you have to be comfortable with your life. The fact that you can pay $179 means that you're saving that shit. That, could, that you basically say, I'm going to forego going out on one night, seeing a movie, getting drunk with my friends, and going to dinner. I mean, $179 is not that much fucking money, dude. Going to movies nowadays, taking a date is like, what? Fucking $50. Buying that popcorn. I, I, dude, I'm cheap, dude. I don't even buy the popcorn when I go, dude. I'm sneaking in my own fucking refreshments. And, and so, I mean, that, that's the thing, man. You sp Look at this. This is awesome. But the reason why you go is because we're celebrating my friend's birthday. You know, he deserves it. He works at a corporate job. He's not an entrepreneur. You don't have to be an entrepreneur to make a shitload of money, dude. Most of the guys that have a shitload of money working for companies and they get stock options and shit like that, dude. They're not, like, being an entrepreneur is a fucking tough thing, man. We have no guaranteed income. You know, like, fuck, yeah, you have no control. It's fucking it's hard, dude. The best way to do it is to save your money. And then you can do what you want to do. So if you take a look at my chat with traders, I talked about how I did it. I was working, I made a ton of money, but I lost it. And then I, I gave myself a goal. I was like, I'm gonna save two years, two years. That way if I, and then I quit. Once I hit the goal, two years of my salary, I quit. Because I, that two years affords me to go all in on trading. So I didn't have to worry about rent for two years. I saved that thing up, right? And I'm, I'm not stupid. If, it's ha if it didn't work out the first year, I'm going to go back to my job. I took a chance. That's life, dude. 
I want to be a fucking six foot four Norwegian guy with a giant cock fucking all these girls too, but I'm not. I got, you know, fuck. <laughs> so what did I do? I fucking make the most of the cards I was dealt. I was born with a giant brain. <laughs> I fucking love it. I prefer a giant brain. Yeah, I got kind of a dirty analogy, but that's what it is, man. Everyone's not fucking perfect, dude. Look at me, dude. I'm a fucking normal dude. Normal fucking dude. One thing I realize is I'm a realist. I, know, I dream, but at the same time, I, I'm a realist, dude. I'm not fucking. I'm not one of those like, like fuck. I, I say I'm a I'm a conservative guy, but I take chances. It's called calculated risk, and that's what you need in trading too. So train yourself, dude. It's like I'm telling you, it's like the Karate Kid. Seriously. Fucking, you know, these, these lessons are growing up and all that shit. So I, so that's my rant on fucking all these guys. I'm telling you, quit your fucking day job. Fuck you. Who's going to pay for your bills, motherfucker? And that's why I tweet, man. First thing you need to do, I say this in my book. I say this in the interview. Man, if your life is in chaos, your trading is going to be in chaos. But it's completely fine to learn, okay? But, but, but when you have this fucking fantasy of being... Being the fucking day trader, making millions of dollars, you gotta realize that's chapter like a million. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta do it through all the steps. You have to be disciplined, bro, because if you're not disciplined, you may make a million, but you will lose it back really quickly if you're not disciplined. Right? It's like that famous quote I always said, man. I made this quote up. You only need to get rich once. You only need to get rich once. What does that mean? When you get there, protect it. Don't take unnecessary risks to lose it. Life is all about milestones, step, uh, steps along the way. It's like, you, it's like you, someone's trying to build a fucking house, dude. And you're like, how the fuck are you going to build a house? It's like a million nails, pieces of wood. You do it step by step. You lay the, first, you get rid of the old bad habits by demolishing the old house, right? Then you lay a solid foundation. So steps by step. If you take a look at the Go drive by a house that's being built. You'll see levels being built up one by one. And then at the end of two years, you're like, how the fuck did they build this giant ass building? And that's fucking what life is about, dude. First step, demolish all your fucking bad habits. You cannot build a solid new house on top of a fucking like moldy, rotten foundation, right? So first demolish that old fucking building. Get rid of all the termites. All the fucking bad habits, all the bad people in your fucking life. That's going to stop you. Because I'm going to tell you something. People are rooting against you. Your friends, even your family is rooting against you. Because they are jealous. They don't want to see you succeed. If they're hurting, they want to see you right there hurting. Right? Am I fucking right, guys? I've had a lot of fucking friends a long way. They're happy as long as you're fucking right there with them. When they think that you're doing better sometimes, dude... But there are good people out there. I'm just trying to tell you, man. But the majority of the people are haters, right? So what do you do? Like a house, man. Tear down the existing bad fucking structure. Rebuild your foundation. And then you take steps to get to the next stage, dude. Break down every single goal and objective into small manageable steps. You could do it weekly, weekly, do it weekly. What am I trying to accomplish? Sit down, dude, plan your life out. But then we need to plan it all the way to millionaire status. I, you know, it's like, fuck, plan it month by month or week by week. This week, my goal is to clean my room and do fucking laundry. It's, it's as simple as that, dude. If you have a fucking messy ass house, your life is a fucking mess. Simple as that. You can't clean it, save the money, don't go out, hire a maid to clean it. And what happens when you clean the house completely? You're like, oh my God, I would never let the house be dirty again. And guess what? The house is dirty again. So at some point, you're going to go, fuck. You're going to learn your lesson not, and, and clean up day to, day to day and pick up after yourself instead of letting it go to crap. And now you got to pay someone to clean it, right? So make, me, make daily goals, man. And that's the thing. So... Yeah, as much as I love it here, 
I, it's kind of like I'm alone here. I, I look down. People are making, geez, man, like a like a dollar here is huge for them. Uh, last night I went to some club. Um, I found a lady just just being paid to clean clean the stairs, and I gave her twenty baht. Uh, it's 32 baht per US dollar. So I gave her probably 80 cents or something like that. And she was so fucking happy. So happy. So you know what I did? I was like, dude, I, I reached out of my pocket, pulled the rest of the money I had, I gave it to her. That little gesture probably made her month. But that was like basically nothing, you know? And so you, you, you see the perspective. And so I just like, when I go back to the States, I love traveling because you see different people and you don't fucking, you, like you appreciate what you got, man. The worst people in America are still better than most of the people around the world. The fact that you're here fucking with a phone. Hey, it's my other friend's birthday. What's up? <laughs> yeah, guys, so. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Keep you guys motivated for the week. And realize, man, if, you, if you're feeling sorry for yourself, go fucking take a look at what's out there in the world man there are people out there who would love the opportunity to complain like you they don't have it they don't have time to complain this woman's washing fucking the floor dude and when i gave her 80 cents that's probably what she made a week so whoever's complaining fuck you the reason you're complaining you're entitled i came from nothing and it's like if you don't change your attitude you will never get there right guys so now we're gonna go eat. The guys are like, well, what am I doing out here? But yeah, man, I mean, this, I, I went on Instagram and reading Twitter and shit. And I'm hearing these people like, I'm like, dude, man, you fucking entitled motherfuckers. You know, go out here and take a look at some of the hardworking people. So I always appreciate people, man. I, I, I do my best, you know, I'm, I'm human too. But shit, sometimes you gotta like, think about other people instead of yourself, okay? so. But like I said, man, the best thing you can do is take a trip. It'll, it'll motivate you to work harder, in my opinion. Go to Mexico. You'll see how some, how some of the hardworking people in Mexico. I'm not talking about the tourist area either. I'm talking about like the guys that are working in the bathroom in fucking Mexico, dude. They don't get given a chance. They're just basically surviving so they can fucking buy food. So what are you going to do? Sleep. Make a plan. First step, guys. Make a plan. What are you going to accomplish by this Friday? Make a fucking plan and do it. It could be a very small step. Do my laundry. Uh, just just do shit and get a routine going and make you feel good about yourself. Mini steps, checklists along the way. Uh, first step, for if you guys are training, uh, learn about resistance and support. Uh, watch, uh, watch my videos. It could be as simple as that. Uh, stop procrastinating. Let's fucking do something I've been meaning to do for a long time and fucking do it. As simple as that. All right, guys, I got to go, but thanks for listening. I'm going to post this up on YouTube, too, and hopefully it inspires someone else. And thanks, guys, for, for staying up. I know it's late over there. <laughs> <laughs>